I'm Caitlin Chadwick. I've been teaching GSS for five years and I got involved when my principal called and asked me to teach it. <laughs> I like a challenge. So uh, as a teacher, I believe you need to be a content matter expert. So I set out to become one and I spent my summer uh, learning everything I could. I did a workshop uh, with JMU. I read a bunch of books. I just kind of dove in head first. And um, I think that's important. Uh, at first I didn't tell my kids that because I wanted to see you know, like I knew what I was doing the whole time, but now I'm very open about it. And when they get frustrated, it's like, look, we've all been there. Five years, I'm, I'm relatively new, but I feel like even just the community has grown exponentially in those five years. And that something that I struggled with my first year trying to help a kid find an answer to, now it's much more available in a bigger um, online community and presence. So that's right. really helpful. And uh, I teach them to actually Google their error messages and their questions and um, I was so impressed this year. One of my students, uh, you know, wanted a tool, looked up, looked it up, learned how to use it, and um, I have them keep a log of their final project. So that's how I found out about it. Is I was reading his log, and he's like, "Yeah, I used this tool." And I said, "I didn't teach you how to use it." He's like, "Yeah, no, it's no problem." So I teach chemistry, which is has a huge safety component to it. So a lot of what I have to do is pretty regimented. I mean, obviously there's exploration, but I joke that the chemistry we teach ended in 1930 and we don't really go beyond that. And that is the exact opposite of this class in that it is ever evolving. And it, um, although we teach it as a science or we teach it through the science department, it is a free elective and it's, um, you know, I tell the kids that it's not a science course. It's, it's an everything course. It's a technology course and it is, um, can be applied to anything you want it to be applied to. And, I don't think they've ever experienced anything like that. I wanted the first project to be all about problem solving. So we didn't worry about cartography. We didn't worry about a final project or anything. It was all about solving this problem of if a chemical spilled in this intersection right by your house, what would you have to do? So the deliverables there were just some screenshots. They weren't the prettiest things. They just did a little bit of a write up. So I started really low. Then the next project, I had them do a lot of web or a lot of uh, print maps, so layouts, kind of making sure everything was accessible. Um, the next project, I had them do story maps, and that's um, to get them ready for their midterms and their finals, where you have to do both print and story maps. I've been doing story maps a lot more in the past two years than I have in the um, previous. I was really into print maps, um, so again, I'm trying to kind of evolve with everything. This is the first year they're making a web app and then putting it into their story map. Because I don't know if that, if I just didn't know how to do it in the past, but that's really kind of up the presentation in that you can build an app and place it in an app and it's, it's like appception. So some of them run with it. They know exactly what they wanna do. Some of them actually say to me, can you just give me something? Like this is too much. And as someone that struggled with the concept of you can do anything, I get that. So I have them focus the first day on a set of questions. What are you interested in? Um, what do you wanna do later in life? Because they're all juniors and seniors. So they're, they're making that major or that job or the, maybe not that choice, but they're thinking about, they have an idea. Um, what are your hobbies? What, what could you do? One of the struggles they have is they think that they need to solve a problem. They need to solve world hunger or homelessness or something like that. And you know, they're, they're dreamers. Like, yeah. so it's kind of trying to bring the scale down of, no, you don't have to solve a problem. You just have to find a way to present this information to, um, visualize this data and to come up with uh, maybe some conclusions, some analysis, something like that. Like you don't, you don't have to do something so big. A lot of them are kind of creating their own data sets or doing joins to previous data sets. And that's really the power is if it's got a spatial component, you can visualize it. You just have to figure out how to get it into the system. Thank you.